I've spent the whole morning researching about Jeff's case, uh, may he rest in peace. Um, and there are notable incidences that I've collected from the data I've gotten. And I want you to come along with me because the math is not mathing. So I've written everything down because I need to understand this situation because the math is still not mathing, okay? So we have 327 in the AM. Who arrives at Fatso's apartment? We have Fatso himself, we have Jeff, we have the cousin, we have the driver and three ladies. Sawa. Higher. And then at 4.48 in the AM, Fatso and the three ladies leave. Now, I have several questions here. What happened here? Because we've seen a video of Jeff inside the apartment, uh, taking, you know, the surroundings inside the apartment, which is also a question we need to consider in this case. Sawa. We also need to know whether Jeff was alive by the time Fatso and the three ladies were leaving. So that, that is an unknown. We don't know in this case. Sawa. Higher. We have 4.48 AM. 4.48 AM, Fatso leaves the three ladies leave, okay? So apparently Fatso was dropping off these three ladies. Yeah. So we have Jeff plus the driver plus the cousin who are now remaining inside the house. Jeff, at this point, we don't know whether Jeff is alive or dead. I want you to keep that in mind, okay? We don't know whether Jeff is alive or dead. Now, 52 minutes later, that is 5.14 in the AM, 5.14 in the AM, the cousin and the driver are seen looking around. This looking around um, will relate to a point later on, but um, meanwhile, the, uh, the cousin opens a toilet and then he makes a phone call for several seconds. Now, who was he calling? Who was he calling? Another point in the case, this 52 minutes, what happened also? Kwa easy 52 minutes. Nini nilifanyika hapa? Sawa. Now, 7 minutes later, that is 5.47 in the AM, a body flies down. Sawa. It flies down where? The exact place whereby the cousin and the driver were looking around. Sawa. Put that in mind, okay? Now, the pants had been drawn to the knees which is a question of the day. Could have been a case of sodomy. We don't know. Now, the face was up. Now, uh, I've written here reflex. Okay, uh, sorry for the messy handwriting. Now, reflexes. Uh, for those who know biology, Ama, for those who did biology, you remember a thing about reflexes, you know? So when you're falling, your body will tend to turn so that you can have a visual of where you're falling. Why was the face up? And the face being up, so meaning uh, the contents of the head spilled out. Sour. Higher. Two minutes later, that is 5.49 in the AM, we have the cousin and the driver going live going live you know i'm a live streaming uh, i don't know who was playing a guitar that is what we call an alibi but then two minutes later if at all this was a case of suicide okay if at all jeff had killed himself sour in two minutes our to angekua wanangalia from the window to check what is happening sour i'm they would have at least try to see what is happening because i'm assuming by the time uh, someone falls there's noise there's sound okay which does not make sense now minutes after 9 a.m we have fatso returning uh, he comes back to his apartment uh, yeah. So he looks at the body and then he goes to his house. Apparently, some witnesses were saying that um, he was not remorseful. He had no shock in his face, which is another point in this case that needs to be investigated. Okay. Now, here we are working with hypothesis. Okay. And we have various unknowns in this case. Number one, what happened between 327 a.m. and 4.48 a.m.? What happened? We need to know. Number two, when Fatso and the three ladies, sorry for that, were leaving at 4.48 a.m., was Jeff alive? If at all he was alive, what state was he in? Was he sober? Was he intoxicated? We need to know. Okay? If he was not alive, that makes Fatso and the three ladies suspects together with the driver and the cousin. So it means all of them are involved in the case. That is, if at all, Jeff was dead by the time Fatso and the three ladies were leaving. Okay? Now, let's continue. If at all, Jeff was alive when Fatso and the three ladies were leaving. What happened in these 52 minutes between Jeff, the driver, and the cousin? Okay? What happened hapa katikati? Now, at 5.40 a.m., what was it that the cousin and the driver were looking around for? Okay, why were they looking around? Why did the cousin open a toilet? Who was this who was being called at 5.40 in the a.m. prior to the body flying down? None will kwa napigiwa by the cousin. Okay, that is a hypothesis we also need uh, that needs to be tested more or less. Ama, the truth needs to come out, okay? Now, at 5.47 a.m., we see the body flying down. From the reports given from the management of the apartment complex, no window was open at that time. So, how fast did they uh, manage to fly the body down and close the window? Okay. Number two, pants to knees. Is this a case of sodomy that we don't know? Was Jeff sodomized before he died? That is one thing we also need to know. The face was up. Back to the thing about reflexes. Why was Jeff's face up? Which brings us to this point of, was Jeff alive by the time he was flying down? Hmm? Moving on swiftly, let's go to 5.49 in the AM, okay? 5.49 in the AM, the cousin and the driver live stream, which is clearly an alibi, okay? If at all, it was a case of suicide. You want to tell me there was no noise? Noise was not a variable in this uh, case. Because if at all, someone had fallen, 
there had to be noise whereby these two will come and check Allah what is going on, okay? Another thing, uh, when the management said, uh, when the body was falling down, no window was open, how fast was the window closed by a dying man who was committing suicide? So there's a point I did not add. At 6 a.m., the management of the apartment complex came knocking around people's doors inquiring about the situation, okay? I want you to keep in mind these people are like streaming at 5.49 in the air. So by the time these people were knocking the door at 6 a.m., eh, the cousin and the driver were dead asleep. People who are like streaming 11 minutes ago. Mm, okay. Now, uh, let's go to minutes after 9 a.m. Fatso come, comes back. Can you have a detailed explanation of where Fatso was with evidence? Mm -hmm. He looks at the body and some of the people say, he did not have remorse, Ama, he was not shocked. Which brings me back to this point. What happened here? By the time Fatou was leaving, was Jeff alive? Why did the police mark it as a suicide? Hmm? I'm praying Jeff gets the justice he deserves. However, from this case, we have more questions than answers.